Nigeria is the most successful team at the men's under-17 level, with a record 5 wins and 5 runners-up positions. Nigeria won its first under-17 trophy in 1985 when we defeated West Germany 2-0 in the final. The under-17 team of Nigeria is called the Golden Eaglets. Hundreds have played in this team representing the green and white, with notable names like Skanu Wonko, Wilson Aruma, D. Babayaro brothers and recently Ihi Nacho and Victor Oshiman, but much of this has not translated into good for the Super Eagles. Let's take a look at notable players that shook the world at the under-17 level but went into oblivion after that. Before we start don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get more interesting videos like this. And also like this video so it can get to more people. 10. King Osenga. Osenga's drive up front, and in the midfield helped keep Nigeria in the 2007 tournament, winning every game all the way to lifting the trophy in 2007. He was tipped to progress into the senior grade teams but never made it past the under 20s. 9. Victor Brown. Part of the silver winning 2001 side, Brown scored two goals for the Eaglets and was rated as one of those who could form the next crop of Nigerian stars but he suddenly went into oblivion, with his name only being heard intermittently. 8. Kabiru Aki and Sola. All the times that Aki and Sola came into the Eaglets from the bench in 2007, the game changed. Scoring just one goal with remarkable assists, Aki and Sola was one of the stars of the competition as he was likened to Abafemi Martins. Sadly, the youngster quickly became a forgotten story and did not even make the Flying Eagles team. 7. Omoni Go Timil. Timil was another player whose name resounded in the heads of football fans during the 2001 Under-17 World Cup hosted by Trinidad and Tobago. After that tournament, which Nigeria came second after losing 3-0 to France, Timil was hardly heard of anymore. 6. Kennedy Chinwo. Combative and strong, Chinwo could drive from behind all the way to the front and even assist in goal scoring. After the 2001 quest this former Dolphins player struggled in the local league and was only a big buy for small clubs in Europe. He only played for the Flying Eagles. 5. Gunny Wasseni. This chap was praised for his pace in attack which helped him score three goals, but that could not earn him a place in the senior setup, though he played once with the under-23 side. 4. Soga Sambo. Nigeria made it to the final of the FIFA Under-17 World Championship in Trinidad and Tobago in 2001 after recording four straight wins. Strong, tricky midfielder Soga Sambo was the creator-in-chief for that side and was the key man in the group stages. The Golden Eaglets lost that year's final 0-3 to France and Sambo faded into oblivion. 3. Ola Dili Ajaboy. The Golden Gloves winner of the 2007 Under-17 World Cup hosted by South Korea, he made keeping so easy, he was sensational in the final saving three penalty kicks. Much was expected from the shot stopper but he failed to get a shirt in the Super Eagles. 2. Emmanuel Sani. After winning three editions of the Under-17 World Cup, we were allowed to host in 2009 and Emmanuel Sani was one of the stars of the tournament. He was the most outstanding player of the tournament and also the silver boot winner scoring five goals. That was the last we heard from him. 1. Macaulay Crisantis. Seven goal hero and golden boot winner of the 2007 Under-17 World Cup, Chrysanthus shone like a bright light. With stature and poise by his side, he was suggested as the new Nkwo Kanu but he didn't live up to that afterwards, never even made the Flying Eagles or Under-23 team. What do you think makes these young stars flop after a successful Under-17 tournament? Drop your thoughts in the comment section.